We're back into December with many fun holiday events to come. Tune in to hear what Kylie tells us about the Wisconsin Parade. I'm Bray. And I'm Will. And Wave TV starts, starts now. now. Sunday, November 21st, the Waukesha Christmas Parade in Wisconsin was suddenly turned deadly after an SUV plowed through crowds of parade participants and spectators. Videos were taken of the red SUV speeding down the road towards the parade and hitting members of the local marching band and continuing into large crowds of people. The six deceased victims included Wilhelm Hospital, age 81, Virginia Sorensen, age 79, Leanna Owen, age 71, Tamara Duran, age 52, Jane Kolich, age 52, and Jackson Sparks, age 8. Along with these six, there are at least 40 hospitalized with four children still in critical condition. This community, originally getting ready for the holiday season, mourned the six losses the following night. At exactly 4.39, when the tragedy originally happened, they held a moment of silence. Police have determined that the driver was 39-year-old Daryl Brooks, but the motive is still unknown. He has since been charged with five counts of first-degree intentional homicide with a $5 million cash bail amount. The community continues to mourn in disbelief. Stay safe, Somerville. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Riley Cummings. As the story continues to unfold, we will update you on what is to come next. Next, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has an announcement to shake the face of the company. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. You could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space. There's chance. It sounds crazy thinking we would be able to interact in a virtual reality world. Yeah, I can't wait for it to be accessible. On a different subject, Bree gives us the schedule for our upcoming EOCs. It's almost time for the days we've been dreading all semester, exams. With the last nine weeks of semester one coming close to an end, it's time to start preparing for exams. EOCs begin on December 9th for English 2 writing portion. On December 10th, we begin the reading part of the English 2 EOC. Then on December 13th, the U.S. History takes their EOC. Biology takes theirs on December 14th. Then third period exams begin. For more information, visit the Somerville High School website or Somerville High Instagram page. While you're not studying for exams, check out how our teams are doing and our girls basketball's most recent major victory. Now here's Heather with our sports report. Hope you're not too stuffed from Thanksgiving because Somerville sports are in full swing. Coming up Tuesday night at 7 p.m., go support our wrestlers at Cane Bay High School and make sure to stop by Wednesday at 7 p.m. to support our varsity basketball team. We give a huge congratulations to Coach Davis and the girls' basketball team for recently claiming the title of Teresa Kendall Holiday Classic Champions. The tournament was named in honor of former Green Wave volleyball and girls' basketball coach Teresa Kendall. Coach Kendall is one of many coaches in the history of SC athletes to win over 500 contests in two different sports. Let's hope our teams will follow that trend and make sure to go out and support our players and coaches in the upcoming season. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Heather Davis. Make sure to go out and support our school's athletics. We're back with Chick-fil-A Fridays, so if it's not clicking, go get your chicken by the Spirit Shop. 
Um, we're really excited to say that Chick-fil-A is back every Friday um, at the Spirit Shop by the auditorium. You can get a bag of chips and a Chick-fil-A sandwich for $6. Come fast because it gets sold out really fast. Spirit Shop, we sell many spirit-like items such as this lovely hoodie that you can buy for $20 and this adorable $10 as well. Our mugs are $3 as long, along with our snackable water bottles that are also $3 and this is $2. And on Fridays, make sure to come get your Chick-fil-A from the Spirit Shop before it sells out. I know I'm getting my sandwich and chips. While we end off Spirit Week, get ready for more events around our lovely town of Somerville. Starting off with, we have the Toys for Tots. For this event, you can go to our website. From there, you can find all the information, such as location, open hours, and more event details. There are the James Island County Lights. This event is open nightly from 5.30 to 10 p.m. You can pay $15 in advance and $20 at the gate for a regular night. And for a peak night, you can pay $25 in advance and $30 at the gate. You can go to the event known as the PJs with Santa, which is starting on Saturday, December the 4th from 5 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. And those are just some of the events that you can attend, but if you want to get a bit more involved, here is Bray on some ways that you can do just that. Thanks, Ethan. I'm here at Somerville Dream Peace Rink in downtown Somerville. Here, you can skate for $8 an hour and $4 to rent skates all the way until January 9th. Customers can pre-register and sign the waiver in person or online at summervilledream.org. If you're like me, bring a jacket. It'll get really chilly. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Ray Buckner. Next time you head downtown, think about stopping by the ice rink to help support our town. To end us off strong, Dylan and Will let us know which superhero movies are to come in the future. Marvel and DC fans, today we're here to tell you about some of the upcoming movies in the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe. First up, swinging in on December 17th is Spider-Man No Way Home. It'll be continuing the story of Peter Parker after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home, where his secret identity gets revealed to the world. He goes to Doctor Strange for some help and unleashes a multiverse of madness. Another movie coming to the MCU is Morbius, set to release January 28, 2022. Morbius was a biochemist looking to cure himself of a rare blood disease, but in turn infected himself with some form of vampirism. In the DC Universe, right when Gotham needs it, it's the Batman. It releases in theaters March 4th, 2022. It stars Robert Pattinson playing as a younger Batman, only a year into being the Cape Crusader. Although this version of Batman is no better than the thugs he fights. Electrifying audiences everywhere, Black Adam is set to hit movies July 29th, 2022. It stars The Rock facing off against ancient entities who took over his sacred city of Kondok. Widening the multiverse comes Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness on May 6, 2022. It is set to star characters new to Doctor Strange's life, such as the Scarlet Witch and America Chavez. Making a splash, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom comes out December 16th, 2022. The villain Black Manta returns to terrorize Arthur Curry's life once again. Though some of them are a distant out, I can't wait to see each and every one of them. How about you? You know me, I love some nerdiness in my life. You know I love some nerdiness too. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Will Bagley. And I'm Dylan Rosario. Stay safe, super friends. Thank you.